Well, everybody is now safely seated inside the Pavilion Theatre, and it looks like we've got a full house. Are you ready for Act One? Well, so am I. It looks like David Fletcher is our first expert to the tables. Let's take a closer look at what he spotted. Hello, Cindy. Hello. Now, every now and then, we see something which gives us an insight to a bygone age. And by George, this does, doesn't it? It does rather, yes. It advertises a series of events to be hosted by the Royal Dramatic College at the Crystal Palace in 1865. Yeah. Now, the Crystal Palace was built, as you probably know, in 1851 for the Great Exhibition. Now, how did you come by it? I did a little cleaning job for a lady right. um, that was retired and uh, she had this on her wall and when she had to move into a residential home um, she offered it to me along with a couple of other little bits. The list of events it describes I just think are fantastic. One of the ones which really caught my eye was Womble's Menagerie. Now Womble's Menagerie was well known. I would have expected them to have been top of the bill. Right. And they advertise lions, tigers, panthers, bears. The lion weighs from seven to 800 pounds and is allowed by all who have seen him to be the finest in captivity. <laughs> they don't hold back, do they, no, these Victorians? No. <laughs> <laughs> if they think they've got something good, they'll tell you. But just to make sure we don't all get too light-hearted about all this, there is a lecture here on comparative anatomy. Right. So yeah. after you've been to Womble Circus, and you've seen the amazing brothers and the gypsy cave and the fairy post office, you can take in something a little bit more cerebral and go off to a lecture on anatomy. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, the Victorians love this sort of thing. I noticed that the occasion or the event took place on Saturday and Monday, not on Sunday. Not on Sunday. That's interesting, isn't it? Church Sunday day. being a day of rest, yeah. exactly. Now it's printed on silk. Yeah, I think so. It, it, it's got a shine to it. And that um, suggests it might just have been sold as a scarf, perhaps. Okay. Otherwise, why not just print it on paper? I don't think it's hugely valuable. In fact, I think really it's something, if you're thinking in terms of selling it, we should be prepared to sell without reserve. Right, yeah. Now, I hope the auctioneers will agree with me that we should estimate it at, say, 20 to 30 pounds but I wouldn't want to put too high an estimate on it because in the great scheme of things, it doesn't have that intrinsic value that no. collectors really like. No. Would you be happy with that? Very happy, yeah. And the lady who owned it would like that, do you think? She should yeah. probably say, go on, Sid, do you see what you can get for it? My daughter, oh. Kylie, my granddaughter, Hello. Lily. Oh, how old's Lily? She's a year, a week tomorrow. Oh, bless. Hiya. Hello. Oh, Lily. Lily. <laughs> what are we selling? Wow. <laughs> so you've had this in the family quite a time? Um, I've had it about 15 years, actually, yeah. yeah. And did you have it on the wall? Yes. You did yes, for a bit? Yes, I did, yeah. My husband quite likes it. It's your husband that's uh, instigated the reserve, is it? The yes, reserve? yes, okay. yes. Because he said to me, actually, I quite like it. Yeah. He said, I'll give you £20. Did he? Oh, did he? Yeah. Right. yeah. We had a chat about it and the auctioneer liked it. There's lots of history there. And the thing is, if you had somebody in your family, past generations, that actually performed in a play that was there, yeah. well, you've got to buy it, haven't that's you? Right, no matter yeah. how much it costs. It's an important piece of social history. Yeah. Yeah. Let's find out what happens. Here we go. 240 is the Victorian silk program there, the Royal Dramatic College at Crystal Palace, numerous names of amusement and fun. What do we say for it? 20 pounds for it? 10 then, so long now, I'll be 10 at the back. 12, 14 you're going, 16, 18 is it? At 18 pounds, 20 and 2 now, sir. 22 right at the back there, all done and setting at 22, we don't have 22 are we? Really put in a late bit there with the crying. <laughs> over, here, over here, she said. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and well done, David. Spot on. Brilliant. And thank, thank you, you so much for bringing all the family in. Lovely. And Enjoyable. a wonderful piece of social history.